Hi there, this is Donna Stewart from DonnaStewartOnline.com and I thought it would be great to share a little bit of my insights regarding residual income and understanding what true residual income is. I've had my own home business now for over 10 years, actually since 1998, and I've really come to learn and understand the difference between residual income and something that claims to be residual income. So let's talk about this for a little bit. Let's first talk about the definition. Residual income is dependable income that keeps coming in month after month. It's based on previous activity. So something you did in the past, you continue to get paid on over and over again. A job, for example, does not provide residual income. Work for an hour, get paid for an hour. If you don't work, of course you don't get paid, right? Residual income, true residual income opportunities are very hard to find. Let's talk about a few examples. Authors, people who write books. Well, a closer look reveals that most income generated occurs when the book is launched. People do not buy the book again and again. It's typically a one-time purchase. Same is true for actors and movie producers. The true financial life of a movie is extremely short, and again, most of it occurs when the movie is launched. Where can you find true residual income? Well, if you own a few million dollars in stocks, uh, let's say, you could have a substantial residual income stream. Sadly, this is reserved for the already extremely wealthy. Some might say affiliate programs. Closer look at that reveals that if you stop promoting your affiliate programs, you will stop receiving income. This is not a long-term residual income opportunity. Some might say to promote yourself with your own service, like coaching programs. A closer look at that reveals that if you stop creating new programs to promote, of course your income will stop. Some MLM companies claim to provide residual income. A closer look at that reveals that most MLMs are only in business a few short years, so that would disqualify most MLMs. Does it make sense to jump from one MLM to another to produce residual income? No, if, you ha if one MLM fails and you have to go to another one, you have to start and build all over again, knowing that it will not last. That is not a way to build a long-term, secure residual income. Most MLMs also require retail sales, meaning your customers are not purchasing month after month after month. And a closer look re uh, at that reveals that in order to build a large base of customers purchasing every month, you have to find other builders. The reason? Because the builders will purchase every month. However, the customers typically only purchase one time. Sure, they may purchase again down the road, but it's not an ongoing regular purchase. So you must constantly be looking for new customers, but also new business builders to make more sales. So where can you find true residual income? My advice, with a company that provides a business opportunity with products and services that people really need, that they really want and will purchase month after month after month, regardless of the business opportunity. You want to be with a company that has a proven income statistics of long-term residual income based on a high retention rate of customers, meaning customers that shop month after month after month because they really want the product service, they really need the product or service, and it's something that they're finding value in in the marketplace that they cannot get anywhere else at the best price. This makes all the difference when it comes to true residual income. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to visit me at DonnaStewartOnline.com where I go over the truth about home businesses and the realities of that. Make it a great day.